Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal, and yesterday we finally got the reveal of the Dragonflight Alpha, an early look at the next World of Warcraft expansion. This channel was lucky to be part of the early access. And over the next few weeks and months, we'll be covering all the major features, content, and class updates coming to the next chapter of World of Warcraft. In today's first alpha update, I want to take a closer look at the Drakthir Evoker, a brand new class arriving in the expansion of Dragonflight. I want to go over the playstyle, the spells, the abilities, and the brand new talent trees available in the very early Dragonflight build that will likely see a variety of different changes before the final release. But right before we do that, most of you guys watching these videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you are reminded, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel as well as to the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get regular updates about the next World of Warcraft expansion of Dragonflight. Before you get to play the Evoker in Dragonflight, you first have to create your character. The Evoker is unique because they can only be played as the Drakthir, and Drakthir come with an impressive amount of customizations and options. Both the Dragon form, which is your primary combat form, as well as your visage can be adjusted in a variety of different ways. Anything from scales to scale patterns, the horns, the frills, the spikes, as well as various bits of armor can all be customized on your Drakthir Evoker. And while your appearance does not impact your gameplay, this race class combo is part of the unique features of the Drakthir and the Evoker, and it's something worth considering when it comes to picking your main heading into Dragonflight. Now let's go over the base abilities of the Evoker. Evoker fires off powerful magic attacks that can tear your enemies to shreds or mend allies' wounds. The empowerment mechanic allows you to channel attacks to grow stronger in strength, and the longer you channel, the more effective their output is going to be. Some of your spells will consume a new resource called Essence, which will supercharge those abilities' overall output. The Evoker class comes with a natural affinity for mobility, able to momentarily cast their spells while on the move. And you can also fly above the battlefield, breathing fire upon your foes. Evoker comes with a new raid buff that empowers your allies movement, which gives them a unique group enhancement to bring into party or raid. We should also highlight the drag the racial, which is quite powerful all on its own. It could use a tail swipe to knock enemies up into the air, which can be useful when it comes to interrupting some of their abilities. Or flap your wings and summon a gust of wind, knocking your enemies back. Both of these traits create a very powerful combination of displacement abilities that's very useful at some of the high-end endgame content. Next, let's highlight the basic Drakthir talents, which gives you choices of powerful defensives, such as Obsidian Scale in order to reduce some of the damage taken, or Renew and Blaze to recover health after taking an unavoidable hit. The talent of Fly With Me lets you literally pick up an ally and move them out of imminent danger which leads to some creative usage inside of both PvE situations like raids and mythic pluses or even PvP like saving your ally from incoming damage in a rated arena. The talent of Oppressive Roar can help enhance future crowd control applied to the target, which can be both helpful in high-end mythic plus content as well as competitive PvP situations. Source of Magic will help your healer restore some of their mana whenever you use your offensive spells. And Zephyr can be used to save your allies from raid-wide damage. Next, let's go over the DPS playstyle of the spec, the Devastation, which is going to primarily focus on the destructive potential of the Red Dragonflight Fire Damage and the Blue Dragonflight Spell Frost Damage. The mastery of Devastation is Giant Slayer. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Devastation players will inflict more damage to a target as long as they are healthy, with this buff diminishing the more injured the enemy is. This provides Devastation Evoker's players a natural affinity for Burst, which can be highly valuable in PvP situations when it comes to focusing a singular target, and it allows their opener damage on a boss to be potentially some of the strongest in the game. The left portion of the Dragonflight tree will focus on the magic of the red Dragonflight, with flames to keep multiple targets ablaze. A variety of different passives can let you chain damage procs with massive explosions and AoE potential in a rapid succession. The right hand side of the tree focuses on frost and spells that disintegrate your foes with precision, mostly focused on eradicating a singular target. 
these frosty spells could also be empowered with an additional slow effect which will be highly valuable in pvp many of those frost spells could also be chained after one another in quick succession as part of a combination depending on how you build your character the other side of the evoker playstyle is the preservation spec which is your healing alternative Preservation Evoker's healing is amplified on targets that are in a worse condition than you. As long as your health threshold is above your allies, your healing will be amplified greatly. The Preservation Evoker is going to utilize the magic of the Green Dragonflight in order to heal your allies' wounds with powerful breath abilities. As well as the magic of the Bronze Dragonflight to simply reverse the damage of your party entirely, with abilities like Rewind find usefulness in both raids as well as smaller Mythic Plus dungeon groups. You can also help out your tanks greatly by smoothing out the damage they receive with the time dilation ability. And as a preservation healer, you gotta maintain your health above your allies, with a spec playstyle offering a lot of talents that will keep you healthy even when locked down by the enemy rogue in PvP. As a healer, you can also soar into the sky, raining support upon your allies. And for now, that's going to be everything we have regarding the Drag Theory Evoker over on the Dragonflight Alpha. And currently, this class is still in production. The Dragonflight Alpha has just had its first public build, and every class in the game will likely experience a variety of different changes and updates before the final release of this brand new expansion. But for now, that's all we have for today's update. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your thoughts about the Dragthier Evoker? What is the first impression that you've gotten out of this class? What are your thoughts about the two playstyle options, Devastation and Preservation? And is Evoker right now currently a class you're potentially considering as a possible main heading into the next World of Warcraft expansion? Also, what would you change about the class heading forward? All feedback is useful this early into the alpha as Blizzard has already announced upcoming updates planned for a handful of classes and likely many more changes to come. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As per always, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and the live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video update or hang out with the rest of the members of the community discussing these recent Dragonflight updates join our discord to become part of the community but otherwise thank you all so much for watching i do hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts and as always i'll see all of you guys in another video